No, I just finished watching Falcon and the Winter Soldier episode 6 in, uh, what did I think? It was pretty good. Now, going into the show, you need a mindset. A mindset that this isn't going to be WandaVision. I just hate thinking about WandaVision. <laughs> this is like a five and a half hour long Marvel movie at its finest. Though the story wasn't as good as I want it to be, it was passable. It's just fine, but there's some things that poke out. That's basically what I'd call everything in this show. Just fine. The Flax Mashers and Carly storyline were pretty good, and at the end you could see sympathy for them. And you could really see how Falcon, as a past counselor for war veterans, can really connect with her. No, Falcon and the Winter Soldier isn't some masterpiece like the beginning of WandaVision or the rest of WandaVision, but it is something else. Other than a five and a half hour Captain America 4, it just is solid. The action, solid. The acting was solid. Though the character development for Bucky was pretty much done by the time we get past Endgame, it's still nice seeing the continuation of his story and him bouncing off of Falcon after Cap's gone. I really like at the beginning of the episode because Falcon is such a good guy, but he doesn't want to take the shield. So he gives it to the Smithsonian, but then they give it to a Wyatt Russell. Oh, bruh. And then the son of Ego himself murders a man in Lithuania. Absolutely insane. And uh, that storyline concluded very unsatisfactory. Alright, so let's break this down. John kills a dude, and hundreds of people report him. He basically just gets hero fired from the government. So he makes his own shield, Falcon calls him for some reason in the last episode to come help, and he fails to save a truck from falling. And after that, no other punishment. Another thing that I hated about the show was Agent 13, Miss Sharon Carter herself. She was the most underused character in the show. In the show, I just forgot she was here. She's only in two episodes, and in each time, it's completely out of context. That's another thing that off put me, but I don't know, that's a small thing. I was gonna wait, but his suit in the last episode is goofy. Alright, I wasn't gonna say it. I wasn't gonna say it for a while, alright? I was holding myself. But this suit. Is fire. I don't know what anyone says. I was grinding level Marvel superheroes when I met Captain Falcon. At this point, Captain America 2 didn't even come out yet, so I don't know who Falcon is. But he's this bird man, and then I, you know, I, I think he's a pretty cool dude. Do a couple more missions, and bam. The coolest thing I've ever seen. I was flying around the streets with this guy. I even think I went back and killed Galactus with. Ever since I was eight years old. Captain Falcon has been my favorite Captain America, and when they brought him into the show, I laughed. But on the inside, I wasn't laughing. To endure the best feeling I've ever felt. And that's why Falcon and the Winter Soldier is a 7 out of 10. Would recommend.